Good evening, guys and gals. It is Undead12335. I never thought I'd be doing a video like this again. Um, it's going to be about Boogie2988. Let me start off by clarifying and saying I'm a big fan of the guy. Used to watch his videos religiously. i um, been watching him since 2010, or I think it's maybe before that. Um, as soon as I first got my laptop back in 2009, um, back whenever gaming was still taking off on YouTube, he was one of the big guys. Um, and I don't mean that about his weight. I mean, literally, he was growing exponentially. He did parodies. I have coworkers that are in their late 50s that know of the uh, Fat Guy Breaks the Xbox parody uh, thing that he did. Um, so I'm a massive fan and massive props to the guy. Um, he actually sort of inspired me to do this. Um, in, in a sense, it's mainly... Well, today's video is mainly going to be about what he uploaded earlier. He did a Boogie2988 video exposed, as the title was. Okay, let me just start off by saying, for doing that, you're an idiot. You're doing exactly what those trolls want you to do. You are giving them the time of day, and you are shedding light on what they're doing. Words only have as much power as you give them. I say that, I've been saying that a lot in my videos. I've been, I say that at work about various things. And about a lot of issues nowadays. If someone gets offended over a word, stop using the word. It won't have power. Stop giving someone acknowledgement and it won't have power. Or they won't, well, they won't have power. What you did by doing this, you showed that you were just as obsessive and manipulative as people think you are. Ooh, a little bit of camera freak out there. In your video, you said... It's crazy to think that someone can be this obsessed... And just insane about stuff like this. And how and you can't believe that someone would spend all day long combing through uh, messages and videos and stuff. Trying to find evidence of what you did. That's what you're doing. You spend all day combing through Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google. You Google every single thing that people say about you. And you take it just, just so personally. YouTube has you like this for no reason. They don't, you don't, just ignore them. Review Tech USA did a video on this, and I knew that you were going to go and do exactly what he said not to do. He said, don't do it. Just li leave them lie. That's what he had to do. He had people, I mean, threatening his life, and he just basically just ignored them. What, what, I mean, what, what could they possibly do? Now you went out and you lied about being swatted. You uh, manipulated and lied to your fans. If you would have, as uh, Review Tech USA said, done this behind the scenes and not said a word, no one would be blaming you for it. But now, because you came out and said, "I'm so, I feel like crap. I manipulated. I'm sorry, you guys. Please forgive me." Um, by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. You did it. You're you're just proving their point, and. I, I'm, I'm going to bash him a little bit because he's not right in the head. A lot of it comes from how he was treated on YouTube. I removed my last two videos because of various reasons. One, I had a... Uh, I, it did not go as well as I thought it would. I purposely made a video with wrong information. And I even said that in the description. Check at... Uh, see, this is what this is all about. I made wrong information just to show exactly what he did. The proof was right there on what I was saying, that I was saying that I'm purposely doing this just to show you that misinformation sells. That's what he tried to do. He tried to basically sort of warp the narrative and have people on his side and then come out and say, oh no guys, master plan. The only difference is I actually did it right, he didn't. He came out and just, I've been working with someone from the FBI and I'll do this and I, a PR person. No, you haven't. I highly doubt you worked with the FBI on any of this stuff. Um, being honest, bud, most people won't give you the time of day. It, you have about just as good of a chance as I do. A lot of people, too, they don't pick on you because you make six figures a year. You clear easily half a million or more a year. Easily. You're one of the bigger channels on YouTube. You're one of the OGs of YouTube. You've been doing this for years. <sighs> People pick on you because you ride the fence. You constantly contradict yourself. You nitpick about every little thing that someone says about you. I'll be honest, man. I was bullied in school. I really was. And I just, after a while, I just, 
I fought back once or twice, and then after that, I'm just like, I'm done. I don't care. Just ignore them. And you know what? They left me alone. They really did. Just if you leave leave somebody alone and ignore them, they don't get the reaction that they want. They want a reaction out of you. You're like Wings of Redemption. You and that is one of my favorite YouTubers. I still love the guy. You give them a reaction and they play off that, and then they just dig the knife a little bit deeper until you're doing something else. You're your own problem. I'm trying to be as nice as I can, but I mean, sometimes you, you need a little bit of tough love and I'm going to get probably 10 people sing this, but just stop, dude. I mean, you're in your forties now. I, honestly, I think it might be time for you to retire. If it's bothering you this bad that you're nitpicking, I mean, dude, your channel hasn't grown really in years either. Your channel has stagnated because you don't do the stuff that people love. As I said in my message to Boogie video, bring back actual Francis skits. Who cares if they get demonetized? You have a you have you have more money right now than I will make in my entire life. You you really do. What you have made in the last year, I won't make in the next ten. So just retire, or do a video every now and then. Do do the stuff that we enjoy. That funny boogie, the Mr. Rogers of YouTube, as you used to call yourself. And stop contradicting every single thing you do. I feel like I'm talking to a child. A lot of people feel like they're talking to a child because they say, hey, don't do, don't, don't, hey, hey, hey don't put that fork in that light socket. Don't, for, and eventually we're just going to go, oh, no, wait, 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 let him do it. Let him do it. Eventually, that's the only way you'll learn. I think it's going to take your channel almost getting killed off before you finally get the message. Or something like that. It's just... We want Boogie back, man. The real Boogie. Not this whole... I'll be honest, ever since you went to the divorce and got the new teeth, and... I, this is going to sound so mean and rude. The teeth look bad, dude. Um, I mean, I have a... I have one right there that's a little messed up. That's because my dentist didn't do a good job with my uh, my retainer. Your people people made fun of that. I'll be honest. It doesn't help any that they don't look proper on you. The moment you got that, I'm glad it gave you an ego boost. I really am. I really am because I mean you were down in the dumps. It it got your confidence up. I bet it did. Another thing is, the moment you went through. You, you got married, it gave you big nuts, essentially. You thought you were untouchable. You thought you were on top of the world. Awesome for you. Great. You started slacking. You started doing every little thing you could for attention after that, too, after the, uh, the the divorce, which that's none of my business. I'm glad you guys kind of ended on good terms. So that does suck to happen. My parents are divorced, so um, kind of know what it's like to have to be there whenever that does happen. Um just stop feeding the trolls if you just literally just do your job do your youtube thing for you stop trying to please everybody stop fence riding stop just stop faking it because i i don't i used to watch your videos every day and i used to watch them on repeat i used to get pl make playlists and watch all your stuff every day hey guys this is boogachu 98 coming at you live once again to the power of the internet. I remember that old boogie. He doesn't even do that anymore half the time. Now he's just, hey, guy. hey guys, it's me, Francis, and uh, or I am going to be doing a video exposing myself today. You didn't really expose yourself. You just exposed your problems. You exposed your issues. Get back to doing things the way they were, they were and I promise you, you'll find out you're going to be much happier. Your fans are going to love you for it. Why are you texting me right now? It's just, it's going to be good for you. I mean, dude, you're literally, you're living the dream. I want to be a YouTuber for a living. You're doing something I will never be able to do. You have literally the best job in the world. You being on, and also, and I don't care if you think I'm wrong or anyone thinks I'm wrong. Being a YouTuber is literally the easiest job in the world. Once you get your fan base going, you wake up, you make a video. It's literally, it's free money. And if Boogie keeps doing that, it's going to be easy for him. Just keep making money. It's crazy that your biggest videos lately have been your controversies. 
people make videos criticizing you that get bigger that get better views than the stuff that you put out. That's shocking. Get back to gaming. Get back to doing Magic the Gathering card unboxings. Dude, I don't even play Magic the Gathering. I have a bunch of cards over there. I haven't touched them in almost three years. An ex of mine got them for me and wanted and was gonna teach me how to play. And I just we never had the time. I, I, I don't even play the game, and I used to watch that because I'm like, wow, that's cool, man. That's awesome. Or like his game reviews and stuff like that. He's You're a constant fence rider. That's your main issue. Stop doing that. Just Honestly, just come back home, man. For real. You've been, doing, you've been in the game too long to let it slip away over some trolls. And being doxxed does suck. It really does. Believe it or not, I actually got doxxed. My old, I used to have my uh, my name, just my first and last name on here, and a guy went and Googled my name, and he pulled up my girlfriend, her parents, my mother's Facebook account. He also pulled up, uh, let's see, co-workers. He pulled up where I worked, and he found my home address through that. Crazy how that works, huh? It does suck, but you know what? I didn't even, I didn't even pay it any attention. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Thomas, oh, that sucks. I just changed my name. I put my YouTube name on here. Thomas said, appreciate you, bro. And he said, hey, man, get, getting docs sucks. He said, I wasn't trying to put you on the spot there. He said, I just wanted to let you know, hey, just this can happen. Just be very careful. I appreciate you. Thank you. Let it go. Stop nitpicking. Stop spending all your days on Reddit. People know exactly what you're doing. And I wouldn't be surprised if your internet history got came out and it was like Reddit, 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 Reddit. Oh, this thread, this thread, this, this thread. And they're not going to do anything about that mega thread either. The more you, the bigger the thread gets, usually it keeps itself going. So the more you make and the more you piss and moan, the more you nitpick about every single little thing that people do, the more and more they're going to get annoyed. Anyways, guys, thank you for everything. I, if you do dislike the video, dislike the video. But this was not meaning to try to knock him down or anything like that. It's just, I hate seeing the guy like this. I really do. I'm a big Boogie fan. I have been for years. Like I said, the first video I ever saw was the him smashing the Xbox. That's one of the still one of the biggest viral videos there's ever been. He when they played that they played that on the news is how viral that video went. I mean, you know how crazy it is a YouTuber getting on the news. That's awesome. But anyways, guys, thanks for everything. Be sure to show Boogie some love. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.